Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Marcello Pedalino. Our next guest is a keynote speaker who advises groups and organizations on how to enhance their current fitness, style, and overall wellness status. He's been down promoting his new book. It's called Celebrate Life, How to Live It Up, Discover Fulfillment, and Experience the Joy You Deserve. We welcome Marcello Petalino here to Virginia this morning. Good morning. Well, good morning. Thanks, I can thanks thanks for feel the positive vibe coming <laughs> off of you this morning. I know that you've got ties to New York. You live in New Jersey sure. now. You're traveling around talking about your book, which is really about, let's just face it, living your best life. Absolutely. But unless you're completely irresponsible with how you spend your money, there is no reason why you can't do what you love and live life to the fullest. And as a parent, I learned that you can do what you love and actually enjoy your kid's childhood without being haunted by the lyrics to Cats in a Cradle. Now, for those of you under 40 who didn't get my old school Cat Stevens reference, okay? Um, Here's the bottom line. If you think your kids want your money when you die, you're wrong. They want your time and company while you're alive and well. They want the memories to cherish when you do pass on. <laughs> Waiting until you're retired to start enjoying your life and crossing things off your bucket list, it's absurd. Take care of yourself. Right, the bottom line is, Bill, if you can't take care of yourself, you can't take care of the people who depend on you. It's nutrition, exercise, and sleep. And if, if you're not making those a priority, you're making life a lot harder than it needs to be. Now wait until you see how this guy stays in great shape. His fitness information is all for you coming up in just a few minutes. Go see how other people live, experience, and learn from their cultures. When you go on vacation, be mindful. Be on vacation. Don't be that person we see around the pool or at the beach walking around like this staring at their phones all day, micromanaging their business from where they are, you're defeating the whole purpose of being on vacation. Marcello, I love you. I love your attitude. This is awesome. This includes politics, regardless of how you feel. Mm -hmm. It's good to be informed, but if you're more focused on who's running the White House instead of who's running your own house, you're not going to be as productive and definitely not as positive as you could be that morning. That's such a good point. Oh, yeah, don't I tempt do. the social media gods, okay? Because their, well. their job is, and they're very good at it. They put things on Facebook and Instagram that will make you want to sit there for 35 minutes, mm -hmm. mindlessly scroll, and lose <laughs> half of your morning. Am I, am I right? Okay, yes. Keep good company. Folks, you are who you surround yourself with. This includes your friends and mentors. <laughs> He's got a song out now, and he mentions, you know, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Oh, what, a, what a great line, He's though, right? explain it, exactly. What a exactly. great line, because mm -hmm. that is so true. And you said that you wrote this book really for her. I did, I did. You know, um, we're not guaranteed to live forever, and you never know things can things can happen. So in case I ever die too soon, I wanted Isabella to be able to learn everything I would have ever wanted to teach her. So I wrote this book for the peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Do you realize you can actually earn half as much money but you could be twice as happy. In other words, you can work and make all the money you want, achieve all the status you want, but if you're not really enjoying your life, spending time with your family, um, then what good is it? They don't put a U-Haul on your hearse. That's what we like yeah. to say back home. Caveat, you may have to live in a smaller house. You may have to drive an older car, and you're gonna have to stop buying a bunch of stuff that you really don't need, which, hey, you know what, newsflash, should have been doing all that stuff a long time ago. The best way to predict the future is to create it yourself. Thank you for your time.